1964, the Surgeon General of the United States released a report with the title Smoking and Health. This was the first official public statement that smoking is a health hazard. Now, the harmful effects of tobacco take years to develop, and many other causes can lead to the same diseases as are caused by tobacco smoke, particularly heart attacks, stroke, and lung cancer. So how did doctors figure out that tobacco smoke is a health hazard? Determination of health risks is an important question in medicine because you can't simply run a randomized controlled trial. To do a proper smoking trial, you would have to randomize children to smoking cigarettes versus placebo cigarettes and then follow them for many years. However, you can't run a scientific trial when a possible outcome of one arm of the trial is a harm. Ethical trials are for the study of cures, not risks. We need other types of data. In the case of tobacco, the data came from comparing rates of disease in individuals who smoke with individuals who don't smoke. And as it turns out, in smokers, there is 20 times as much lung cancer as in non-smokers. Also, researchers looked at the effects of tobacco smoke on laboratory animals and found that tobacco smoke is indeed a potent cancer trigger or carcinogen. Now, of course, it's important to remember that correlation does not imply anything about the cause and you can only make tenuous links between animal research and human health effects. However, at some point it stops being reasonable to bet against a causal relationship. In other words, with a strong enough correlation in a large enough sample, with biological plausibility established in animal models, the simplest explanation becomes that yes, Tobacco smoke causes lung cancer.